What is going on everybody? After my last video, I've had a lot of questions on whether I think Amboss or UWorld is better. This video, I'm going to give you guys some quick unfiltered thoughts on using both. Let's get into it. Before I kind of compare the two, I'm going to tell you guys how I used both of them during my preclinical years in medical school before step one. So I used Amboss mostly with Anki and all their articles to study for my med school topics and I never used their question bank before step one. UWorld I used at the end of every block I would do every single UWorld question pertaining to that block because our school grades on yeah the weekly quizzes but the NBMEs at the end of the block are what counts for like 80 to 90 percent of our grade so I would do all the UWorld so I could pass those NBMEs uh, and it worked great for me that way. Yeah, so these are like just some quick unfiltered thoughts So if your school doesn't have this kind of grading system where it's like mostly quizzes or professor lectures Amboss I think would be the best option. It has a question bank. It has the Anki out on it has articles It highlights the stuff you get wrong on the questions. It's like it's more of a it's a more complete package in my opinion and it's cheaper I think than UWorld uh, I actually don't pay for either because our school provided UWorld and I am actually an ambassador. So they provided that to me for free. Disclaimer, I guess. UWorld, I think still, as much as I love Amboss and they've supported me in my med school journey, I think step one gold standard still is UWorld. I think you should definitely 100% use UWorld if you're doing during dedicated before step one, no questions asked. UWorld has some really good explanations and some really good questions some are really difficult and some aren't amboss questions are so variable i think amboss questions are much harder than the uworld questions personally they have like the five star uh, five hammer i mean questions and the one hammer questions but i always felt like even amboss always wanted another step you know like uworld wants you to like be able to describe the disease in here and then answer something pertaining to that disease Amboss, I feel like you have to pull out the disease and then you have to pull out the mechanism to pull out the following step to answer the question. So I definitely thought Amboss was harder, but I did all their practice questions. I thought it was a great content review to start step studying, but UWorld, I think is still gold standard. I would highly recommend you guys use UWorld if you're in your dedicated. And if you're in your pre-clinical and you guys can afford it, Amboss is definitely an amazing, just full package that you guys can use daily. Like even if you guys go volunteering, you can pull up the articles. I've heard really good things about Amboss for step two and for clerkships. So I'm going to be using it a lot. I don't know how good UWorld is for step two. I imagine it's really good too. But I have heard really good things about Amboss for step two and clerkships. So I might not use UWorld now that I'm going to study for step two. So are just some quick thoughts, comparisons between the two. If you guys have any questions, just leave some comments down below and I'll try to get to them. This was a quick video. The video I made on how I said for step one was 30 minutes long. It took me forever to edit and record and I just did not want that for this video. I wanted this to be like more of a quick because I know a lot of students are studying for dedicated and also I know a lot of students are about to start medical school. So. This is my two cents, Amboss for a more complete package. Uh, and then if you feel like you might struggle on the final, if they're NBME grades or whatever, UWorld will get you through it no problem. That's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. Help me pay off these student loans. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.